What's up, YouTube's Jay Millionaire here with a quick little video of a pickup I recently got. I'm um, not super recent; it's been a couple weeks. Just haven't had time to actually do the video on it, but uh, I got time now and going to try to get it done for you guys. So, of course, you see in the right here and in the description, most likely uh, season four, big ass box, and of course, these are the crep boots, the oil fix suede crep boots. Uh, retailed I think about 675 or almost 700 bucks US doll hairs and a uh, guy got it in the 43 and it's about a 10 which is usually my true to size in every other shoe so I got that tried that um, the deal I got on these is really crazy I did not pay $700 and I don't think I ever would but I got them on end as you could see um, in com clothing or in clothing and they gave me a crazy deal I think it was uh, under 300 I think it was like two something which I just had to jump on it and the sizes flew really fast, which I could have told you guys earlier, but of course that was weeks ago. So let's get into it. So similar to the other seven, the Yeezy 750s I got here, I'll do a little comparison about those in certain aspects, but they come with a giant box. The box is actually bigger than the 750 box. On the top, the eggshell, a little egg crate foam, and then in the actual shoes themselves, they come with inside the dust bags. The 750s, they came outside and the dust bags are separate, but these actually came in the dust bags. So let me open up one of them. And I already tried um, one on, so this might be the one that I pulled out. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Uh, let me do this one-handed real quick. Ugh. And a lot of people gave flack for these. Um, the original colorway that came out was like the cream are the tan color and people said they were basically like uh, Uggs or whatever, but these are not like Uggs in any way. Uh, let's see, there's something else that came with them. Let me see. So I noticed this is a card that came with it. Let me see if I can pull it out. One sec. Okay. So this says care guide. And in the instructions, says, your full oil is producing the skins of basically baby <laughs> baby cows, so calves. Um, it says, avoid rough abrasion material, obviously. Contact with alcohol, perfume, okay. Protect your product from the rain, which is obvious because it's suede. Wet, suede and water don't mix. And it says, pay, take special care of the white and light colored materials, which this doesn't really have. So I think it was just talking about the crepe boots in general. And that's pretty much it in a whole bunch of different languages, but it's, it's you know, luxurious that it comes with a little care thing, but that's just something I noticed and thought I'd share. So basically, uh, yeah, two bags on the bottom, another egg carton uh, cushioning for the actual shoe, and of course two bags, and they actually have seasons and forge stitch on them. They are a simple bag. Um, they are different materials than the 750, as you can see in contrast. 750 material is just simply just a super basic cloth. Um, this is, damn, why is it not focusing? This is more of, I guess it would be like a cheese, cheese filter kind of cloth, a little bit more material to it versus just a regular like, like sheet material for the 750. So basically a little, little high quality, more high quality, but not hella great because it's just a dust bag. Um, and of course the ends come with a thick material versus the regular 750. Some thin ass material it's really cheap compared so into the shoe so of course if you know this because he's been out for a while it's a super high boot and the midsole is crep the material on it is super super soft butter you could tell um, always with suede if you can do that and it comes in two different uh, shades and it's pretty uh, thick nap and pretty good quality uh, it basically is an all olive color in contrast with the 750 and I'll basically show that in contrast. This is a chocolate brown. People thought these were either like a black or another hard dark brown, which is basically the darkest brown you can get without it being black. And this of course is a light chocolate brown. It looks super light in comparison. That's just a comp. Uh, compared. So the whole shoe is that suede upper. In certain aspects of the shoe, it basically has like a chocolate brown. Let's see if it focuses chocolate brown stitching and in contrast it looks really good against the dark oil super super dark almost black material instead of just having a black thread so it shows a little bit of different aspect throughout the the piping and stitching of the shoe the laces themselves are a super dark brown kind of like i said olive or not olive but oil 
oil slick brown. So they're super, super brown. And, and, and the images on the camera isn't picking out exactly what it looks like. It's more of a subtle brown in person. And same with the laces, it's, it's more brown than black. On camera, it looks like it's just black, but it's not. On the rear, of course, they have that pull tab that's similar to those 950s that came out. So this is all leather versus the nylon that those were on, the ballistic material. And then, of course, the rest of the shoe is basically, it's all in material, which is pretty clean. The crepe on these, people try to ask what it feels like, and it's a spongy material, as you can see, but it's hard. So it's kind of like the, the, the mats you see on like playgrounds or something like that. It's that rough material, and it's pretty tough. As well on the bottom, same difference. It's really hard, hard, like semi-spongy, but hard. I've heard people wearing these and the crepe material wears out, especially like if you heel drag and such like that. But of course, if you spend some money on these shoes, you can always take them to a uh, cobbler and I'm pretty sure they can recrep them. I'm not 100% sure, but that's that's my guess. So I did take these apart and these are super, super stuff. So I'm gonna take one at a time and show you what they actually came like. So they came with one, of course the super long laces stuffed in there. Two. Bear with me. I'm doing this all one-handed. Three. It's not it yet. Okay. Four. Not done yet. Five. And then another one way down there if I can get it. Shit. Damn. Kind of sloppy photography, but okay, so six. So basically, they stuff it all the way up to the top. It still holds firm. Of course, it's probably be a little different once you break it in, but it's still pretty stiff and tough around the shoe. The ankle portion, or I guess the calf portion, is a little more flimsy once you actually get it open, but it's still pretty tough material. Into the inside of the shoe, let me see if you can like, stand up and see. It says season four. The entire material is that calf leather, it's super butter. As you can see, it looks like that uh, high quality, like uh, luxurious shoe that you'd pay a lot of money for. Of course, like I said, these are retail for like $700. I did not pay that, but it is that thick ass leather, as you can see. Like literally, this is not cushioning. It will maybe have cushioning in there, but that's, that's how thick the leather feels throughout the whole tongue, as well as the ankle and calf portion, the whole portion is leather. The insoles that you could see on the season four and around the actual insole, it has that same leather. So basically the whole interior of this is that like calf leather and the outside is calf leather suede. So it's basically all good materials. I wouldn't say good materials, but semi, semi high quality. I wouldn't say they're the best materials in the world, but they're pretty damn good. They're way better than um, the 750s in my opinion. The suede just feels way better way more buttery. You know, these aren't bad, but this is way better. In comparison to the inside of these, because I haven't actually rocked these in a while, the leather just feels, this feels cheap in comparison. I mean, this is super thick. It's like a baseball mitt. But anyway, enough about the 750s. So, of course, I've seen a lot of people wear these a lot of different ways. I personally have not actually worn them because it's, it's like 100 degrees almost every day in California. So these are most likely going to be only a winter shoe, um, except when it rains. But pretty much probably just wear it without the laces open. If I do wear them, I'll probably wrap them around like they're supposed to, but we'll see. Another thing I found out, and I did not know that this had this, but on the tongue, if you could see, because it's super dark, they actually have elastic bands um, holding the tongue in place on both sides. So of course, once you slip your foot in there, it kind of stretches and then holds its shape. I was wondering how the, the actual tongue stayed in there when it's like super long. I thought it would just like flop out, but of course the elastic it help, it helps with that, I suppose. So it's pretty, I would say a basic shoe. It's a lot going on with it besides the crep and this the, the super tallness of it. In comparison, one more time, these are high top 750s and there's still a lot more um, going on as far as the height there. But in my opinion, it's a dope shoe. A lot of people are gonna hate on it. People probably might comment and call them Uggs and say they're ugly, but I got a crazy deal on them in my opinion. Uh, less than half of what it retailed for. 
and it's shortly sold out because there was the deal was just crazy. Uh, check out, I'm not plugging in, in clothing.com, but I bought a couple things from them, or a handful of things, as, as well as some easy clothing that was on super good deal to sales. Um, you can check out that other video. But uh, when they do have sales, better jump on them because they sell out super fast. And of course, you can't really beat that. I'm glad I did not pay 700. I never really would, but I was thinking it at one point because I really wanted these. Um, as you can see, made in Spain, my size 43 stamped in there, and there's nothing really else to it. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, go in the comments and ask me, and I'll try to answer them. Um, or if you want to make another video, just ask me, and I'll you know have time to do it. But yeah, basically what it is, easy season four, crep oil colorway, pretty dope. Yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.